Mate Frank had a good idea, as good as you can get. Forget all the bits in a piston engine and invent the turbojet. His flying officer of the RAF made a very important statement. Your turbojet's a clever idea, so make sure you take out a patent. Then while you sort out all the problems, go back to what you know. Aerobatics showing off and flying too darn low. My mate Frank had a good idea, as good as you can get. Forget all the bits in a piston engine and invent the turbojet. Alan Arnold Griffith was the first man to review it. He found an error in the calcs and claimed the Whittle blew it. Too large, weak and impractical, he surmised with a sigh. To be frank, my dear Whittle, this idea will never fly. British Thompson Houston were a little more enthused. Their chief engineer liked the plans that he perused. But when asked to give some funding, they felt bound to reply. To be frank, my dear Whittle, this idea will never fly. My mate Frank had a good idea, as good as you can get. Forget all the bits in a piston engine and invent the turbojet. The patent lapsed, the whole idea nearly collapsed Then one lost spin with no regrets Go all in and found power jets There was toil and there was heartache The progress was gradual When you're inventing the future There's no Haynes manual Then finally they watched it go An MPH of 370 Amongst the noise it flies, they cry that's what it's blooming meant to do, Whittle replied. My mate Frank had a good idea, as good as you can get. Forget all the bits in a piston engine and invent the turbojet.